Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can share and view and export the logs of Google Workspace or G Suite into Google Clouds logging or actually what used to be called Stack Driver. Now there is a way from this admin console where you can enable the logs visibility and the logs sharing to GCP and once you do that you'll be able in almost real time to view and stream the logs from google workspace or g suite and you'll be able actually to search within these logs and filter them according to what you need and what you want now this is a great way for you because the interface of cloud logging or stack driver is very flexible and it offers a lot of filters and a lot of ways to query and to search in these logs so this is one great way of actually understanding and seeing what's going on in the organization, especially when it comes to the type of the logs that are being shared and sent, which are almost the very important audit logs, the settings changes and the login audit logs and the admin audit logs and all of these important logs that will make sure no abuse and no, let's say, issues are being exploited or actually happening in the organization so for this you will need a few stuff to make sure you are complying or to make sure you have before actually enabling the logs the first thing is of course having a g suite or a google workspace the second one is actually having a gcp organization set up and ready and that's actually a very straightforward thing. All you have to do is go to console.cloud.google.com and just agree to the terms of the service there. If you don't have, then create one single project, even without a billing. You just create a single project with the account of the same G Suite or the with the same Google Workspace account that you're using. This will actually link or this will create an organization on GCP to the Google Workspace account and that's it, you're all set. Now, once you do that also, you will actually be the, let's say the owner or, or you'll be having the super access or super admin access to that organization. However, you still need some sort of additional permissions that you'll have to set up. I will show you those permissions in a bit now. If you're actually not familiar with GCP, again, this is a very straightforward thing. All you have to do is just add your email, give it the proper access, and that's it. Or actually, another, any other email that you have in the organization. And once you do that, you'll be able to even use GCP for your other services and for your, even like host your workloads if you have, if you want also, and all of that, because GCP is one of the great platforms actually to host your workloads and applications. So I'm, I'm going to stop from talking about GCP for now because if I start, I won't stop. <laughs> so the first step as mentioned is you have to set up your organization. Now this is my organization is already set up. If you see the project picker here, you see that I already have the organization set up. And this is the homepage of the GCP project. Again, if you're not familiar with this, this is where you see the various resources and the various utilization details about your project and all of that. This is not the time, but again, this is nice to be familiar with. And also before showing you the actual settings and the actual stuff that you need to do, there are two articles that I want to show you. The first one, it's called Configure, View and Export Google Workspace Audit Logs. This is an important read. It's going to give you an idea about what type of logs are being exported and shared and how you can view those logs and what are the requirements and prerequisites for that and what are the actual permissions that you need. It's actually one of these permissions. It's not, sorry. It's not all of these. It's just one of these roles. And then it gives you the steps that you have to do in order to enable the logs, which is actually in the second article that I'm showing you which is called Share Data with Google Cloud Platform Services. Now, this is one setting that you have to enable from the admin console when you don't have to do any additional stuff. You just take a checkbox or slide a switch there, and that's it. So these two articles are very important. I really recommend that you read them before starting this, this one and the other one. And if you just look at the left side, you will find an overview article as well, Google Workspace Audit Logs Overview. So in total, there are three articles. Just go to these two articles in here and that other one in here and read them, make sure you're fully aware about them and that's it. 
then you can move to the next step which is actually enabling the logs now in my admin console I have actually already enabled that but it's actually the same steps in your case you will find that sharing disabled so you just have to enable it in my case you will just see it enabled now so you go to account settings in the admin console and in the account settings you have to scroll down a little bit until you find legal and compliance in legal and compliance you scroll down a little bit as well and you will find something called the sharing option now if you open this one it will tell you that the google cloud platform sharing sharing options is enabled in my case in your case it would be set to disabled so you just set it to enabled and save the settings and that's it now what this setting is going to do is actually it's going to enable the audit logs to be streamed into the gcp cloud logging or stack driver or operations or whatever they used to want or they want to call it and once you do that then you can immediately or almost immediately go to the logs in gcp and view the logs now i have enabled this previously i did some changes and i changed some settings just to generate some logs to show you what you need to do so for this i will go to the gcp console and because this is the this is on the domain level or the account level so you have to go to the organization actually now this is a project and if you go this is called the project picker so if you open the project picker you will see these things these are projects where you put resources and virtual machines and cloud storage buckets and all of these inside those projects but you will notice there is a single item with this building symbol which is called the organization now if you actually look at it is if i go to all you will see the hierarchy so at the top level is the organization inside the organization there is all of the projects so if you have a large infrastructure here or if you have multiple applications and if you want to host your infrastructure on gcp you can actually split them into multiple projects let's say testing dev and production and in each of these you put resources and all of this again not going into gcp stuff but just to give you an idea on the hierarchy and all of that so our logs for Google Workspace and for G Suite are actually hosted inside the organization. So I have to click the organization name and it's going to take me to the organization view, which is a little bit different from what you've seen in the projects. It, it's telling you that the page is not viewable for organization to view this page, you select a project. Now the reason is showing this because for the organizations there are no direct resources under the organization so there is nothing to show in the dashboard you have to go to the project in order to see the graphs and the statistics about the various resources and the various workloads that you have but but in our case we don't care about this we just want to go to the logs explorer or logs viewer which is down from this menu and I have to scroll a little bit down now these are all of the services and the products that are available in gcp but what we want is the operations and inside the operations you want to go to logging and in the logging this is the logs explorer actually we have to go to logs explorer in order to see that interface not this one so this is the logs explorer you just you have to click it explicitly so that we can see the the interface of logs explorer now just to get a little bit space i'm going to remove this here for the logs explorer we have to set the log type let me also close this and we have to select the resource that we want to view its logs and that is actually in here so the resource and then audited resource now there are not a lot of stuff in here because we don't have anything actually except the gc or g suite resources sorry or google workspace logs so we click audited resource and we should see something called G Suite admin events and G Suite login events. So let me go to G Suite admin events actually and let me click add. So these are all of the logs that are actually admin logs or admin changes. And if I run the query now, you should see that there are some changes and some settings that have happened, which is actually, I think, creating the org unit which is something I did to trigger and to create a log for you. I'm sure if I can expand this somehow. And no, anyways. So hopefully you will be fine with this very small space <laughs> that we have here. 
So the logs of GCP are actually, I think, JSON formatted, and they have some sort of a standard structure. So the content of the log is found in this proto payload node. If you open it, you will find the various properties and attributes of that. And the the log or the information that we want to find or to look for is the method name, which is creating an organizational unit. And I think if I expand the metadata, probably I will be able to see the name of the OU, the various details and the various properties of the change. And this is actually the OU that I have created, which is called test OU. And this is the change that I have done. Now, I actually can go back in time by selecting the date, which is Let's enter a custom range. Let's actually remove the start time and make it to the, or actually from the start of time or from the beginning of time, <laughs> in other words. And you see there are more logs that showed up in here. And one of these logs are, I think, changing the admin settings. I really forgot what I have changed previously, but we can find out. So if I go to proto payload and if we go to the method name, you see it's some sort of an application setting. And if I go to metadata and if I go to activity, actually not activity, event, and then parameters, we find there are actually a lot of stuff that happened. And these changes, I believe, some sort of a Gmail change or Gmail setting change. So you, you'll be able to view the changes that have happened here and who did what. And actually, this is the option that I have changed, which is making gmail available offline for all of the organization and actually i did change it for all of the organization for the whole domain so through this you can actually view the details and you can view the inf what what's going on inside your domain and all of this now you can actually create some sort of a quick filter and you can if you have a lot of logs you can filter all of the matching logs and all of that now this comes on how to use the cloud operations log explorer and actually there are some resources on and some articles on the cloud google cloud help articles and help pages on how to use this once you get used on how these things work and how these things behave i think you'll be able to find it very easy and very straightforward it's just actually selecting the resource that you want to filter and find and Actually, then, you know, just viewing the, the, the results and changing the time and all of that. And also the histogram here will help you a lot if you've got a lot of logs and a lot of uh, activities there. So this is going to help you a lot. The final point that I want to talk about here is the permissions that you need. And as I mentioned in the beginning, the important point is you open GCP console if you haven't done before at any point and then you create a first project. This operation of creating the first project will make sure that your account is set up to be the super administrator of the GCP organization as well. And it will link the GCP organization to your G Suite or Google Workspace admin console. And if you notice, the domain or the organization name on GCP is actually the same name or the same domain of your G Suite or your Google Workspace primary domain. So this is very important also to be aware about and to understand and to show you the permissions that you need. I will go to the I am an admin and then I will go to I am, which is identity and access management. So in here, you will find all of the people who have access to this organization. And as mentioned, your account will be the, uh, the, the primary one. Now, initially, I didn't have all of these roles. I really forgot what the roles that I used to have but the owner is something you must have and i think it should come by default if not then you have to add owner for yourself to make sure that you have the required permission and this is a very straightforward process you just click add or edit if you have your account already there so if you go to edit or add it's going to show you the same interface you just add a new role and in your case you just go to project and owner and Actually, this is going to be enough to allow you to view the logs in the operations log explorer. So this is it really for how to export and how to view and work with the logging on GCP and the logs explorer on GCP for your Google workspace. This is a very nice and a great way for you to view and to export the logs. 
you can allow people to access this interface to view the logs instead of giving them access to the G Suite admin console if you don't want to give them that visibility on the admin console then you can simply grant them access to this interface give them access in here and then let them go to the blogs the cloud operations and then what is that it's up a little bit no it's down <laughs> So you go, to, you ask them to go to cloud operation and they can pin it on the top of the things in here and they can easily go to Logs Explorer and view the available logs for the organization. Now this is it really, thanks a lot for your time. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments section and if you like the video, please like it and subscribe and also click the bell button, it helps me a lot really. And as a final note, I want to mention my course on Udemy, the complete administrator training course for Google Workspace admins and G Suite admins. This is going to help you a lot in your daily tasks and it's going to also help you and prepare you to be able to pass the collaboration engineer exam from Google. You can check it on Udemy. It, it's having a lot of content and it's having a lot of concepts and it's having a lot of everything actually. <laughs> So I really encourage you to check it out. You can get it at a discounted price from the link in the video description. I really encourage you to check it out and you get 13 days money back guarantee. If you didn't like what you got, then you can always request a refund. And also I'd be loving to hear from you and hear your feedback about the course. If you have any comments or anything that you want to see it in the course after you go through it quickly or after you complete it if, if there is anything about it please let me know i'll be very happy to change or modify anything and that course is actually always being updated and i'm actually all of the time working on it to make sure it's up to date with what google is having on google workspace and g suite so check it out and one more time thanks a lot for your time and thank you for viewing